Hey you guys, my name is Rena Wells, I'm a medicine woman and a highly intuitive, have all the clairs, anything that um, I put out here today for this reading is going to be about the Cancer and Full Moon and I wanted to do an interconnection spread to see where you guys are with your internal energies. Now some of you are watching this for another person but I'm doing this more or less about divine masculine and divine feminine energies and the union within self, the inner balance. So this is going to be a pick a card. And what I'm doing is an interconnection gypsy spread that I was taught when I was very young. It's an amazing spread. I absolutely love it. So we're going to see how the energies are connecting within yourself um, as we close off the full moon in Cancer that is happening tonight. And the full moon Cancer is closing off 2020. It's showing us where do we really need to end cycles. And we're all also in the age of Aquarius. So that is also moving into doing things differently, learning how to be more interdependent, learning how to rely on ourselves and our intuition over anything else. And what cycles are ending right now that we need to completely close off. And um, this is going to bring up a lot of our ancestral issues. Um, last night I had a dream about my dad and masculine energy in my life, including my twin. So there is a lot of stuff that's clearing out in regards to how it's related to your ancestry line. And so this is why I also wanted to bring this reading out to you guys today. So make sure to like and subscribe. Please make sure to hit the notification bell. Please make sure to comment. I love interacting with you guys, but mostly if you can, please return the karma and spread my message of healing and love to other people. The like really, really helps me. Even if you unlike it, that still helps me. So either way. All right, let's get started. So what I'm doing here is we're going to look at the overall energies of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. The first deck is the Shaman deck um, with this beautiful purple amethyst. Okay, so I'll give you guys time to um, feel this out. Here are the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine cards for this deck. Okay, I've already taken them out so that we can do the interconnection spread. The second one is uh, Sarah, I can't remember the name of the stone, I'm sorry. I'm so bad with rocks and stone names. Um, it's not my forte, but this is um, Serpentine, I can't remember, but it's this beautiful yellow rock and the Light Seer's Tarot. Whoops. Uh, this is, um, <laughs> something is falling apart here for this. <laughs> um, something is happening here. Um, because it fell out of my hand. Here we have masculine and feminine energies, okay? And here we have the basic Rider Way with this beautiful pink stone is the third deck. Okay, so use your intuition. It's the basic masculine and feminine energies, okay? I will be using Made for Love's Wounded Warrior cards. I just got these. They're amazing. I will be using the Twin Tarot. Okay, I will be using, and these are possibly if I'm called to in your reading, I'm also going to be using um, the these mini tarot called the Lindstride Tarot. I'm also going to be using the Island Time Wellness cards. And for those that are seeking in regards to somebody else, if your soul is in another body, I'm going to be using the Divine Counterparts and Separation by Made for Love. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and I'll give you a few more minutes to just meditate on your decks and your masculine and feminine energies and we will get started.
and welcome group number one. You picked my shaman oracles as one of my favorites. And you picked this beautiful amethyst. So we are going to be doing your reading. We're going to be doing an interconnection spread. This is for Cancer in Full Moon tonight. <sighs> so what I'm going to do is we're going to take the overall energies from the bottom and the top four cards, okay? That are going to be put into this interconnection spread. This is a spread that a nomadic gypsy taught me when I was about eight years old. So this was passed down from a lineage <laughs> from a long time ago and spirit bestowed my divination tools very young to me. So this is what I am sharing with you guys. All right, let's take a look. So this is for group number one for Cancer and Full Moon. This is either for your person that you're thinking of or this is also for inner union yin and yang your masculine and feminine energies okay so we have a new beginning here we have the ace of pentacles as the overall energy we have uh letting go of defenses okay this is mostly not this is like you know winning at all costs is how i see things when you're walking up that mountain, you want to win at all costs, and you are working really hard to stand your ground in what you believe in. This is, you know, when it's in reverse, the journey has been very hard to get to the top of that hill. And so what I'm feeling here for this group is that it's been very difficult, that there is um, a coming off of a path, okay, with um, masculine energy being in reverse, not actioning the old path okay so there's a brand new beginning so anything that was you know in the heart space is very heavy now the action is getting off an old path and the outcome is this masculine not wanting to action anything that has to do with an old vibration and is really thinking about a brand new beginning we have divine masculine divine feminine energies here okay and the top of the deck we have hermit in reverse lovers in reverse walking away and coming out of apathy so what i'm seeing here is they're both and this is for both divine counterparts is masculine and feminine energy what i'm seeing here is the masculine is more or less trying to get out of the old vibration and wanting to start a brand new beginning the feminine energy is also wanting that here it's what i'm taking is like waking up both of them are waking coming out of their caves ending old uh cycles making decisions in relationships that no longer serve either or okay and this is what's happening also with the inner union walking away from things you know when the eight of cups is you know walking into darkness walking into the unknown and coming out of this apathetic place of regret and not dwelling on that past vibration anymore and what the cancer full moon is bringing up is a lot of ancestral behaviors a lot of things that um, need to be closing off with 2020 as we start a fresh new year with age of aquarius and Age of Aquarius is really about depending on your intuition, depending on where spirit is leading you, no more looking at the physical earth plane materialistic uh, structures to house and support your visions. This is about being very independent world leaders and moving forward in your calling. Okay. And um, this is walking away from old vibrations and whatnot. So let's take a look. Let's go deeper. Okay. We're going to keep the overall energies here. So I'm just going to move them like this. You guys can have a better view of that. And I'm going to shuffle this. Yeah, perfect. They fit on the screen. Yay. I put the camera a little bit higher up. I'm sorry. The sun is shining in a little bit. My curtains have broken and, you know, it's just me. So it's like <laughs> repairs around. Sometimes don't get done right away because I just, uh, so let's take a look. This is for full moon and cancer for pile number one. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see the interconnection of the energies between masculine and feminine here. I'm sorry, my window is open too. It's actually a very nice day and I was like, oh, can I have this window open? And you guys are going to hear everything. I'm so sorry. It's like actually like a spring day where I feel like, you know, typical Canadians like, oh, it's zero. It's warm. It's spring. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. So we've got masculine energy. Wow. Very interesting. 
the center of the read is the masculine is really walking away and that's what we were seeing over here right with the overall energy not actioning things weighing very heavy on masculine energy right now getting off the path and wanting a brand new beginning this masculine is definitely walking away from things um and walking it looks like towards divine feminine energy divine feminine is also walking away they're running parallel in their growth right now okay so this is um you know, this mask on the center of the read here is moving away from relationships, making proper decisions, coming out of their cave, which is what we saw. But the way that this is, um, he's in an in-between stage of in and out of this hermit mode. The divine feminine is more or less pulled into the hermit mode. She's completely withdrawn her energy, okay? And she's walking, divine feminine is walking into the unknown. Masculine is in that in-between stage, but he is coming out of complacency, no longer enjoying the vibration that he's in, and we're seeing that here, and making proper decisions, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have 10 of cups in reverse. So let's take a look. Um, I actually want to do these ones first, the island time before we clarify let's get a little bit more information i want to get one on this overall energy of the masculine moving away um i'm going to clarify with the little ones too so you guys can see better so i'll be using these ones to clarify but <clears throat> let's take a look and just see the overall energy for you pile one in regards to you know and getting off this path that, that the masculine has been on, not acting in anything, weighing, things weighing very heavily, not putting in that hard work anymore to defend something, and moving on to a brand new vibrations for pile one spirit for full moon in Cancer. What is going on here? Please, for pile one in regards to masculine wanting this new beginning and getting off the path. So what do we have here? Reminiscing and keepsake, um, learn from the past make memory. So this masculine is very much thinking about the past, thinking about, we've got three, <laughs> um, not actioning certain things, coming, you know, realizing the past is not where it's at, running, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, and focus on self-worth, shadow work. So this masculine is recognizing that he cannot, no longer be in codependent situations. And this is also the masculine within yourself, if you're doing this for self, and realizing where they actually interconnect. Because if your masculine is in another body, it's also inside of you. So your masculine will be acting the same way on the inside as your masculine is on the outside. So try and take them as triggers. So if the masculine is running on the outside, there's something of shadow work that needs to be done within the self. Okay. So that's really what's happening here. The past and running away from old vibrations. And that's really what this overall energy was about was wanting something new. Okay, so let's get one for the center energy for the Divine Masculine and the Eight of Cups. I just want to see the center energy, Phoenix, rising up. Okay, so this Masculine is rising up. And what about the Divine Feminine in regards to walking away? She knows her abundance, okay? So beautiful energies that are coming through here, you guys. We're going to clarify a little bit more. But yeah, this masculine is completely aware that he needs to uh, rise up, rekindle, renew, transform, change his mind, grow. So that is really beautiful. Making decisions in regards to... Let's get a card on that too, shall we? On the lovers? Yeah. There's relationship decisions the masculine is walking away and rising out of. What are these relationships that the masculine is rising out of? Clarity, truth, and revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So this masculine is really aware of clarity of the relationships and the type of people that the masculine desires in his environment. And I can attest to that. You guys, I have recently just, I don't talk to people who don't respond back to me. <laughs> like, I just don't. Like... People that I thought I'm supposed to be working with, people that, you know, all that old vibration. This is all that ancestral wounding and all the old vibes just coming up to clear. And sometimes we have to move into the new completely with you in spirit. And that, but that means that it's also a very clean slate, which is awesome. And you want that, you know, there's no point in taking people with you if they're not part of your vibe any longer. It just isn't. Everyone needs to grow in their own. So let's get some overall energies here in regards to this new beginning here that the, oh my gosh, I can't pick this up. <laughs> These new energies here. Yeah, we've got the 10 of pentacles. Look at this. 
the ace to the ten of pentacles these masculines here and of divine feminines they're both wanting because this is for both of them okay but i'm just saying masculine because the masculine did show up here as the king of wands but this is like wanting something solid wanting to go from so longevity from the ace of pentacles to the ten of pentacles okay resting and healing there is a separation but because there is an ending of cycles that is happening okay so let's take a look at divine masculine rising up with the eight of cups really walking away from things that don't serve we have the two of pentacles with the eight of pentacles kind of sideways so <clears throat> this is where i was seeing with the hermit you know kind of in and out of of the cave working on things not working on things still being blinded what is this being what is masculine energy still blinded to as they walk away we've got this one sideways too is strength so yeah they're not quite at the courageous place they're in a, a place of rising they've gained clarity over their relationships which has come out sideways as well which is chariot so you see these these masculines are in between energies right now they're going through a massive transformation we have the fool. They know they want a new beginning, though, because this came upright. So they are completely aware of a new beginning. Um, masculine energy towards feminine energy for the Cancer in full moon. Knowing that they're walking towards divine feminine. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Knowing that they're still... This one fell on the floor. Eight of cups. Look at this. Walking. <laughs> walking away from codependency. Walking towards divine feminine. They don't want codependent energy. <clears throat> Yeah, they're blocking that. They're rejecting anything codependent, okay? Page of Pentacles in reverse. So they know. And what is Divine Feminine towards masculine energy here? Knowing that she's all Divine Feminine's also walking away from anything that doesn't serve her energy. Four of Pentacles in reverse, opening up and letting go. Knowing her abundance. Yeah, what did I say? She's in the cave, the hermit upright. So she has withdrawn her energy completely from the connection. Um cleaned up the betrayal and healing herself so this is why it's um moving the masculine into a place of like oh gee what is going on here <laughs> um they're in this in between why is this chariot in between stages here they're still closing off cycles they're not talking three of cups right so that is um friendship celebration they're still having a good time in their life right now it is still the holiday, so they're still drinking it up and enjoying the old vibration as much as possible. Let's see this world that's closing off for both. Death in reverse. So yeah, there is a bit of a delay in this ending and closing off, and I feel it's because of this indecisive. So feminine energy's got to get a little bit more... I mean, I feel like they've really pulled back. I feel this is more the transition piece of masculine energy. Let's get a little bit more insight. Let's do the... Uh, divine counterparts and separation spirit this is for pile number one please so we know that there are old vibrations dying out for group one we know there's clarity we know masculine energy is in between um, a transformation here knowing that they're walking away from old vibration things haven't quite ended yet but they are completely aware of a new beginning that they want to start they know they're moving away from codependency and towards the divine feminine and divine feminine is completely pulled away this is what we've got so far so let's take a look what is going on in this connection for pile one between the energies the mutual energies between divine masculine divine feminine full moon and cancer please thank you this is what we got ready to defend look at this so this masculine here and the old vibration is not defending it's too hard right not actioning the old vibration here wanting an ace of pentacles running away from codependency we saw that running away from moving away uh rejecting anything that's codependent moving towards abundance here and this masculine will defend the new vibration okay both parties masculine and feminine are defending feminine is too now feminine is completely pulled into their own circle into their own energy right now we have here defending against the karmic any kind of karmic energies okay 10 completion i love you <laughs> so yeah yeah this is um really beautiful let's see what emotions are keeping things in the delay because we had the death card in reverse so there is still some closing out we know it's the full moon in cancer so 
we know things are still closing out, okay? Masculines are still enjoying the old vibration. You know when you don't really want to leave a vibration? It's like I've known this for so long. Let's just cheers, totes, let's have a drink, chill out, and then, you know, you get wasted, and then you wake up the next morning, you're like, why did I do that? Like, I'm really done with the vibration, but sometimes we have to keep going back to really be sure that we're done, and I feel this masculine's right at that stage. Okay, so let's see what is going on with the energies in the mutual connection between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is the energy that they're sharing right now that's keeping things um, in the old vibration before they move. We've only got one card. Oh, we've got two. Look at this, sloth and differently abled. <laughs> so these two counterparts may be very different, okay? You might also feel within yourself that you're a unique individual, and so you're not quite moving into your calling yet, okay? And for those that are looking for another person, it's like really like, you know, we're so different, and that's why we're not really moving on this. Um, and so that's another piece that's also kind of keeping things in the old vibration as well. But it is closing out. I'm definitely, let's get another card. Can we get one card, please, for differently abled and we've got a couple here wow look at this the emperor has a covenant here a promise that he's running away from <laughs> can we work things out okay so this is what's happening there is an ending of a marriage or some type of promise some type of commitment here okay it's also the karmic wheel here the it's uh, it's the emperor here that's running away from it we saw this running away here <laughs> too can't with the synchronicities right uh wanting to move towards divine feminine here okay a little slow in the energy so definitely yeah all right we're gonna get one more with the uh twin tarot and that will be your reading for the full moon in cancer also guys if you like this reading please hit the like right now it really helps me out if i am open for readings until the end of january it's a one hour live zoom reading you can ask as many questions as you want and um yeah all that info is down below so please make sure you do that that would be awesome really helps my channel all right thank you let's see twin tarot what do you have for group pile number one full moon in cancer final messages here okay so the devil so looks to it's the devil in reverse in this deck okay that is ending okay they're they're um yeah still some toxicity that needs to be ended here Okay, feeling complete, they are completely trapped. The uh, the devil in the other in the upright is um, you know freedom and um, enjoying the natural senses of life. You know, this is still being completely trapped here, um, still being played, but knowing that they're being played and wanting to free themselves. We also have the world in reverse, so there is unfinished business here. But Spirit is saying everything is being illuminated. We have the sun upright. So everything is being has been illuminated. Every party, I'm getting told, knows what's happening. Um, there is a little bit of fine-tuning and unfinished business. Here, see how the strings are cut? It's like they're cutting those strings now. Okay? So that is your reading pile number one. So much love. Thank you again. Would love to hear what you thought about this. And I'm sending you so much love in this full moon in Cancer. Remember, be kind to yourself. It's not an easy moon. It's a lot of transition. It's cleaning up all those energies from 2020. So please take care of yourself. So much love. Bye. Welcome group number two. If you picked this beautiful, I believe this one fell out of my hand. So there might be some... Um, destructive energies that are happening but this is my beautiful I can't remember what it's called but it's a very spiritual stone and a client had a past client and friend now has given that to me it was really beautiful um so these are going to be your reading for cancer in the full moon we're going to do an interconnection spread we're going to see where the energies are at and then we're going to pull some other clarifiers on top of that Whew. So let's see. This energy feels a little bit dense. I feel there's a lot of transition. That's only because of this stone that fell. Hmm. Let's see what's going on in your in your masculine and feminine yin yang balance on the inside. If that's what you're using these readings for, and if your soul is in another body, about how you're balancing that within. 
and how it's manifesting on the outside because that's what happens with twins right that energy that they feel how it's playing out in the outside is exactly how you feel with the energy on the inside with masculine and feminine so let's take a look here this is for cancer and full moon spare for group number two remember this is a lot of ancestral patterns that are coming up this is the final clearing of ending old cycles before we move fully into age of aquarius clearing out all the 2020 vibes 2020 vibes i was gonna say it's like what year is that all right let's take a look at the overall energies yeah see there's some rejection going on here hmm rejecting an offer but starting a brand new beginning here somehow masculine upright wow really actioning love and rejecting anything else is what i'm seeing and fear of change which is fascinating that there is a fear of change let's move these two over here and let's take a look at some more energies okay hmm a lot of masculine energy here a lot of work with changes what's happening with masculine energy it looks like there's a rejection of um any confusion so i feel like both parties what's happening even though masculine is showing up a lot because i set the intention that this is for both twins but apparently it's happening for a lot for Matt, this masculine energy he's really in between balancing his emotions with the with the action so this is very powerful here what I'm seeing is rejecting anything that brings confusion, any kind of wishy-washy fantasy stuff. It's like, you know what? That's not that's not real. I need to really um, honor what's real right now. We have here making a decision for true love. OK, so this masculine is rejecting anything else that's based in fantasy, dreams, illusions, um, not knowing Okay, not seeing things clearly and not choosing anything that doesn't align to that. Okay, feminines are doing the same thing. But because we have so many masculine energies here, we also have the king of pentacles in reverse. That's about instability because of the fear of change, right? They're afraid of this big change. So this is predominantly masculine energy. You may want to watch group one too because the king of wands came up in reverse and not actioning old vibrational stuff. So that may also help you. Um... But yeah, this is very fascinating because here it's like making a decision for true love, God's love, really balancing the action with the emotions, but still a little unstable of bringing that offer forward because of this fear of change and what's happening. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's take a look and see how these play out. We're going to leave those there. We're going to see the interconnection spread. This tarot spread was given to me by a nomadic gypsy lady who... I met at a cottage when I was like eight years old. She took me under her wing. She taught me. She saw my gifts. And so God bless her because she opened me up to it. He kept me sane basically from what I saw as a child. So um, it's not. Well, it is actually Romani Gypsy. We believe is in. we have uh, just discovered there's Finnish blood in us. So, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we believe there's something going on with gypsies in our lineage as a quite possibility, which makes sense. So let's take a look here and see how the energies are interconnecting. We read these energies in all ways. Okay, it's a very cool spread. Absolutely love it. All right. So let's take a look we usually take masculine and feminine are wow okay we're gonna move it to the king of cups because he was upright so we're gonna take it with the king of cups here and feminine energies wow this is fascinating i'm hoping you guys can see that just make sure you can see the bottom here yeah just move this up a little bit so if you notice here um, we have the, that King of Cups here with the fantasy card and the dreams. Dreaming about the stability here. <laughs> this is very interesting. Just give me a minute, guys. This King of Cups is like dreaming and looking at fantasy. What's real, what's not real in the heart space and being very meditative and honoring what's happening in the heart space and really here looking at how to make decisions. Now they're at a contemplative mode here. They're in a place of not quite stable yet. 
and you can see the emperor in reverse i took the king of cups upright spirit said because if i turned it the other way he wasn't blocked when we first brought the cards out so and i'm really feeling the feminine has not shown up very much in this reading so i'm really feeling she's in a very much in her abundance here okay and because there's a rejection of anything else, of any offers right now, because this Divine Masculine is really working on love, there's still a fear of change, and that's why the Masculine is still in reverse here. So, yeah, let's move this so you guys get a little bit more room. I did this with Group 1 group one as well. It's a little bit easier. So there's more room here. You guys can see the full picture here as we clarify. Yeah, and so I'm really seeing this Masculine getting very serious about the heart space what's real what's not real letting go of control of things but also dreaming and fantasizing about divine feminine here and how to bring a stable something stable to divine feminine but still contemplating so back and forth between past which we see this fear of change fear of allowing a delay of allowing things to completely fall down but this masculine is actioning it okay because there's a lot of this Ace of Cups here. So let's let's get a little deeper, guys. Let's get a little deeper. All right. Let's see what is going on with this fear. I want to pull one just on that tower. Because there's still a fear of change. What is Divine Masculine really afraid of? Okay, well, those came out. Running. Wow, this came up in Group 1. So, yeah, I would definitely look at Group 1 as well. Still running, okay, from this connection a little bit. Taking, knowing that they need to take a chance, being strategic options, not showing their hand. So that's come out, but I want to, that fell out. But let's let's clarify a little bit more with the overall energy, with the runner spirit, rejection, engagement. So they, they know they need to take a risk. Give me a card for taking a risk. Give me a card for taking a risk, okay. So the card that came up for taking a risk here is mirroring each other's self-image relationships reflect our wounds. So whatever's happened with the masculine, they know that they whatever relationships, connections, karmic energies that they've been in, either it's family or friends, whatever, children, whatever it is, it's mirroring their own wounds that they've been have, having to be very introspective. That's pushing them to take a risk into a brand new direction. And this is what's bringing up a lot of this fear here and what they've run away from in the past. Okay, so this fear is coming very strongly. It's also them knowing that they're, this is an engagement, that their life is about to up level here. Okay, so they know that it's an up leveling um, in energy. So let's see what's going on with this masculine with the with the seven of cups and different options. Fantasy, dreaming, mostly about divine feminine, about the past. Look at this. Being self-absorbed, one-sided relationship, reminiscing about this. So this masculine is really looking at the confusion that he may have caused towards divine feminine let's get one towards the divine feminine masculine towards divine feminine yeah wearing a mask <laughs> so this masculine is really reminiscing about what has happened here because the stability that's why the stability is kind of wishy-washy not sure about how to move forward not taking control of this situation all right let's uh let's do some clarification here guys let's get deeper so I'm feeling here the feminine. Actually, let's get a card for the feminine before we clarify. How is the feminine doing in regards to the feminine is also, you know, dreaming, looking at her options here. OK, she's looking at her options. She's feeling uh, something is the stability that the masculine is gaining some stability, but she's also contemplating on how to move forward in her own life. She's on the outskirts of this energy, so she's completely pulled back. How is Divine Feminine dealing with these energies here, Spirit, in regards to Divine Masculine? And this is also the inner union, you guys. So this is also what's happening within yourself. That masculine may not still be fully authentic on the inside of how you're actioning in your life, how you're trying to move into the next level in your life, um, looking at what things are mirroring in your life that aren't good for you emotionally and how to up-level yourself to the next. And loving yourself for this Divine Love, okay? Divine Feminine here is heartbreak and pain, separation, deception, stabbed in the back. She's pulled back because she's still dealing with her pain. She's still, so some of you Divine Feminines may still be having some 
um, emotions around that. Let's see here. What else for Divine Feminine towards Divine Masculine? Yeah, she's like, good, done. I'm done. I'm out of there. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closing. So she's definitely moving, pulled away from any type of deception, moving away from this. And this is somehow triggering Divine Masculine into this, you know, I was wearing a mask. It was narcissistic. I'm looking at the past of my behaviors that cause a lot of confusion. Now they're dreaming about this, but nothing's tangible because right now all they're doing is they're still running. They're only analyzing um, relationships in their lives. They're re they are rejecting... Um, any offers right now but because I feel that they're in a really place of contemplating of codependency and where things are mirroring what is this rejection what are they rejecting what are what is this rejection yeah see the relationship evolving not today so they they're trying to get to the next phase they're healing inner child wounds for that love okay so let's get a little deeper so very interesting. So the masculine hasn't quite risen yet. We have here. That's why he's still in reverse. Okay. Still looking at his options. Still dealing with some confusion here. They're in between. So yeah, definitely you can watch group one as well. It's very similar, you guys. And and again, we're pulling into the Twin Flame Collective. So, you know, it's a little similar when you get onto this path with uh true twins you start to see the similarities okay so let's take a look at the bottom overall energy here look at this the emperor in reverse again so yeah they're not ready to rise but ready to take care um let go of control of certain situations three of pentacles not working in reverse not working on certain things look at this the lovers not working on a certain relationship Knowing that they have to make a choice in a relationship, six of wands, in order to win and have victory in their life, okay? So let's take a look here. The masculine energy is looking at the mask that they've been wearing, their confusion. What is this masculine? And they're feeling it in their heart. This masculine is sitting with his own deception here. Look at the king of swords being very clear about where he's been blocked in the heart, okay? looking at the past, looking at the mask that they wore, knowing that it was narcissistic, okay, knowing that they they were looking at options, fantasizing and dreaming, and being very clear-headed with the King of Swords upright. A lot of kings here, you guys. A lot of kings in pile number one, too. So this is like, you know, um, being, sorry, this is Page of Cups, not being blocked, being blocked in love and emotionally unstable. So they're, they're, they're not holding a bad judgment they're really looking at themselves this is really beautiful energy look at this and how they treated the queen of pentacles how they're treating the divine feminine they're they're really thinking about this divine feminine the divine feminine has left she's stabbed in the back and she's gone eight of wands she doesn't see this as a victory at all she doesn't see any communication she's not moving forward she's not doing anything nine of cups she's going towards what her wishes and her dreams are she's okay without that cup She's going to start, see, uh, this page here, she's evolving into her own self for her own cup and God's love. She's rejecting anything, even the divine masculine, okay, if it's not authentic. Look at this. It's too painful. Too painful. Two of wands in reverse here, contemplating how to move forward. She's made the decision to not be in a place of pain and to move and complete, move into her own wishes. So this stability, divine masculine towards divine feminine, not sure where his stability is right now to offer her anything. Yeah, five of cups in reverse. He's trying to get over his regrets of not being a stable person in the past. Six of cups, okay? And how is this towards the divine feminine? The king of pentacles towards the divine feminine. Seven of wands. So standing his ground, but being a little defensive about commitment and learning lessons okay so trying to really i'm seeing this working really hard a little defensive of working through his spiritual growth and lessons right now sitting with himself um feeling what he's done wrong okay we also have the king of wands which came up here actioning this really taking tangible action in regards to this ace of cups what is the king of wands towards the ace of cups the nine of pentacles in reverse seeing where codependency was where there were attachment issues okay we have the star in reverse where he wasn't healing before okay why is this masculine not rising let's see here letting go of control right 
page of swords in reverse where he was blocked so yeah i said that earlier he's looking at where he's blocked four of cups in reverse coming out of a place of complacency you can definitely watch one it's very similar um yeah judgment and wanting a renewal knowing that they want a renewal ending old commitments ten of pentacles family patterns that's exactly what full moon and cancer is all about four of swords coming out of healing okay knowing that they have to end certain commitments ending old family ancestral patterns things that the family is also could be very narcissistic in the way that they share emotions as well this masculine is very much sitting with himself give me one more for the masculine opening his heart and looking at his heart Knight of Cups, where he wants to take that knight. Where does he want to um, offer that cup? So, yeah, it's a beautiful balance that's happening here with Divine Masculine. This is for your inner union. It's about knowing where you want to action in your life, knowing where you want to go, not taking anything else that's, you know, um, not good for you, but also looking at your own behaviors. That's not always easy of where you've been narcissistic in your own life, where you've been not nice to people, where you um, are quite done with that kind of vibration and not doing that and forgiving yourself for it. We can't um, hold ourselves back even though we treat people poorly. We can apologize. We can move on. We say, I've changed. I'm not, I don't want to be that person anymore. And that's okay. And not to have shame and guilt about that. We're all evolving. And we're all moving. So let's let's see what is going on here. The energies between the twins for group number two, please. What are the energies? These are uh, made for love's wounded warrior deck. I got them. They are amazing. So let's take a look. What is the energy between the pile two between divine masculine and divine feminine? I think only one came out for group one and two. So we'll see. I'll just keep shoveling. We have two. Oh, maybe two came out for one two. <laughs> So let's see here. Self-harm. Look at this. Not taking care of yourself. Defensiveness, right? Um, this is, These are the energies that both masculine and feminine have to do. Let your guard down. No more self-harm. No more over-drinking. No more smoking cigarettes. No more trying to get your health on, on track. Meditating. Connecting to source. Really putting work in for self and not being defensive about it. So this is the opening that, that is happening here let's see what else these are also made for loves to find counterparts and separation let's take a look at these ones what is going on here between divine masculine and divine feminine energy for full moon in cancer tonight full moon in cancer what is going on we're closing off 2020 let's going on for pile number two what is going on here we're going to take a look at the bottom as well Spirit wants me to take a look at the bottom. Yeah, look at this, running away, right? Running away, knowing that this was a running away, but it's also worth it. The third party knows about you, so if there's a third party, they know, okay? I'm not sure how you feel about me, all right? So, okay, Spirit's like, let's leave them. I took out four as well. Let's take the top. Yeah, you are my other half. They ran away from this. Okay, knowing that their defensive self-harm, both, both energies ran away from each other at some point. Okay, um, knowing that you're, it's your other half, please forgive me. I'm sorry. This is worth it. Okay, so there is a lot of energies knowing um, <laughs> dead inside. Third party knows about you. So um, they're trying to really close things up. I, I think both parties are really trying to close up anything karmic. There's still a little defensiveness that's happening. Yeah, it's very similar to Paul one. Look at this. There's a third party involved. I'm not sure how you feel about me, about the betrayal and everything that's happened here. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you hear anybody outside. Guys, I have my windows open. It's like zero degrees or like two degrees and it feels like damn summer in Canada when it's like two degrees. It's like... <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's take a look here. What is going on with the twin tarot, please? Yeah, so no wonder there's some defensive energies here because of the running away, because of the backstabbing. Um, something really went down here and um, third party is completely aware of the situation. And there's a lot of numbing that's still happening. So that's the self-harm that's coming up, the defensive energies that are coming up. So that still needs to be worked on. That's why there's a rejection here, not today. There's still a healing that's happening here with masculine energy, okay? So the full moon cancer definitely showing that there is still some healing that is happening. 
What is going on for pile number two, please? Can you give us some healing messages for pile two, please? Look at the sun as well. Yeah. That's it. All right, look at this. You can definitely look at pile number one for sure, pile twos, okay? They got the sun as well, all right? Everything has been illuminated in this situation. Both parties are completely aware of their happiness. They're completely aware of everything that's happening. The truth is completely out on the table. And everyone is aware why things are manifesting, why they aren't happening. So everyone has kind of gone into their own corners and really doing their work. but And really wanting to bring this together is what I'm seeing here. Um, knowing who the other person is, knowing that this is worth it, knowing that there's still some cleaning up to do before things can actually manifest. So... Yeah, so uh, with this Cancer and Full Moon, it's like really taking the time to look at where we're still harming ourselves, where we're still defensive, where we still need to heal, and to keep focusing on that. All right, my love, so much love. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please don't forget to take a look down below if you would like a reading. They are opened up until January 31st. Um, they are one hour Zoom live meetings with me and you get a recording. Um, you can ask as many questions as you want. So all the info is down below. Don't forget to like and I'm sending you so much love. Bye. Hey, pile number three. This is your reading. If you picked this beautiful rose looking stone, this is for the full moon in cancer that's happening tonight. So this is a lot about um, closing off 2020, ending old cycles that are from 2020 just letting that go as we move into age of aquarius and this is about uh your yin yang balance within yourself between your masculine and feminine energies but it's also if you know that you are a twin flame so either or take it as the messages resonate this is a general reading also don't forget to like guys and if you're new welcome and please make sure if you would like a reading they are opened up right now until the end of january so take a look down below they are live one hour zoom sessions with me so there that all that info is down below now you can book uh, the booking is only open till january 31st but you can book any time in my calendar for next year so just so you know all right let's take a look this is an interconnection spread this is a spread that was taught to me by a nomadic gypsy when i was about eight years old and so spirit brought me my divination tools very young um this is something that uh oh king of cups came up shooting out in reverse just now so some blockages that are happening here with masculine energy we're gonna take a deeper look here this is a lively pile here is what i'm feeling very lively let's take a look at the overall energies this is for pile three for full moon in cancer something else wanted to pop out here okay queen of wands in reverse karmic energies for me all right let's take a look at the overall look at this ending anything that's over indulgence celebratory partying um friendships ending okay there may be an end of a friendship and a connection that happened here apologizing um self-love you know offering coming out of hermit mode and a lot of regret that's happened in this connection so i'm going to move these guys over here we're going to take a look at the overall here wow. balance temperance the hanged man yeah coming out a relationship has ended you guys for pile three all right something has ended um a rejection of an offer of um having a lot of regret so let me just make sure you can see that yeah you guys can see that perfectly so yeah what i'm getting here is there has definitely been an ending of a friendship of some type um trying to balance this out now the energy something has ended whatever has ended with over adults partying celebratory things um coming together this could be also like friendships and old friends and letting go of old things and trying to gain balance and patience out of that. This is also about the hangman in reverse, about missing opportunities and wanting to apologize about missing certain things. But it's also coming into a place of awakened um, enlightenment and knowing about a situation and wanting to come out of this stagnancy right now. We also have the hermit here, which is showing coming out of a place of stagnancy and ending something that may have been keeping things stagnant. We're going to clarify, obviously. Um, and here having a lot of regret over rejection 
of an offer. So somebody may have had an offer, may have been rejected. Somebody may have ghosted, pulled away is what I'm seeing. What I am seeing third party may have gone into a third party situation. Um, but this person, masculine or feminine, whatever is resonating here for you guys, everyone's situation is different. Um, it's definitely coming into a place of reciprocity and um, enlightenment and balance and patience and coming out of old vibration. So I feel like for this pile three, you guys are a little bit more ahead than pile one and two are very close together. But I feel for pile three, you guys are very much ready for the new vibe. I feel that this masculine and this feminine energy are really done with the old vibrations, old relationships, rejecting anything. This has come up with, I believe, the first two piles as well. We're, we're rejecting any type of offers that just don't sit well. So let's get deeper. Let's get deeper. We're going to move these over like this. And we're going to shuffle these. We're going to do this interconnection spread. I'll read the energies as um, how the energies are playing in with each other. We read the center energy as the predominant energy because it is uh, the energy that is, you know, it's like a ripple effect, like anything, you know, when you make a decision, that decision then ripples out. Um, anything that you do and your choices that ripples out as a manifestation, your thoughts, your choices, all of that. So, okay, experts tell me to cut. All right, so let's take a look at hence C. What is going on with pile three for the full moon in Cancer? Yeah, this full moon is really harsh. So take it easy, you guys. This is, I had dreams about my dad and my twin last night. Like it was just like a lot of masculine energy healing in my dream. It was a very strange dream with fedoras and I don't know. It was just a very weird dream. <laughs> I don't even know. And um, just take it for what it's worth. There's a lot of shifting happen in your family lineages as well. Okay. Clearing out old patterns. Wow. We're taking feminine and masculine running in parallel. Sorry, guys. My two of cups is yeah so look at this the masculine is on the outskirts here this is about feminine energy gaining enlightenment you may have been put into a hangman place divine feminine where you know that you want a relationship and you may have offered something but you're in between is this offer going to come for a relationship okay pile three is feeling this connection very strongly I'm feeling masculine has ended a relationship. He's on the reverse end of the relationship card. So he has definitely ended a relationship and has gained enlightenment. And he is in the upright of wanting to offer something coming forward towards divine feminine. Divine feminine is sitting here like has a, she may be feeling something has ended. See, something has ended here. Some type of celebratory type of energy. This is very fun and very happy and coming together. It's not always third party situation. Um, I actually don't think it is a third party situation. I think it's more about friendships and celebratory, but there's are there are three people involved. But um, it's, you know, something has come to an end here. Yeah, and I'm really seeing here with this balance that this whatever enlightenment um this masculine is coming out of a hangman position this feminine is right in the middle and just kind of she's feeling completely stifled right now i feel this feminine uh, i feel spirit has put you on hold divine feminine i don't feel there's new partners coming for you i feel this divine feminine has tried to date i feel this divine feminine has tried to you know move forward in her life we have self-indulgence she's working on herself her self-worth okay uh healing her heart because she girl with the snake she knows i feel there's a uh, something you know that was manipulated here the snake energy girl with the snake i don't feel it was divine feminine i feel there was something here that came in that changed a lot of the energy let's clarify let's get a little deeper guys let's get a little deeper i feel the masculine is very remorseful here i'm picking this is up more for masculine i feel both energies with my masculine and divine feminine are feeling this but it's um regret a lot of regret that's coming through here and i feel this feminine is like not necessarily stuck she's trying to move on to other relationships she's trying to send out offers she's trying to be open um she's balancing this okay but she's in between this this hanged man stage what is going on here with divine feminine here please spirit in this reading she is the center of the read i feel she is in pure manifestation mode 
of what's happening in this connection. So I feel Divine Feminine, you watching this, you know exactly what's happening here. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on Divine Feminine? She knows. I feel she knows. Date. <laughs> Meeting someone new. Okay, so yeah, this Divine Feminine may be willing, wanting to date somebody else and has closed her heart off to the masculine or is just like, I'm not dealing with offer, shady ass offers. I'm not dealing with relationships that aren't going to go anywhere i feel this feminist is getting very serious about her life and saying you know if i meet someone new i meet someone new i am not dealing with hurt i'm avoiding people i'm having boundaries i'm still angry about something i'm not dealing she's not dealing with bullshit all right this divine feminine's not dealing with bullshit how is that affecting divine masculine because he's coming out of um he's missed an opportunity here with her how is this divine masculine feeling towards divine feminine Oh, look at this. He loves her now. <laughs> Ain't that just special? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, seriously, it's like when I, you know, when you cut them off, it's like now it's like everything, right? So yeah, this masculine is definitely feeling, and what is he wanting to offer here? So my masculine wants to offer something. Something flipped here, but I'm not going to take it. He's put an end to something to offer something. So let's clarify here. Look, he's had an awakening. Sudden change. Shocking news. He wants this now. And this Divine Feminine is like, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. So what is the Divine Feminine with the Two of Cups? Oh, some of you may have met somebody new. Some of you may feel that there's a new love coming. You don't know who it is. You're not sure about your masculine. I feel like you may not have known. It could be your masculine coming. It could not be someone coming in. Uh, it could be someone new coming in. Because you're sitting in the middle and so you're in between both energies. So I feel as if my feminine is open to anything, but she's just definitely not taking anything that is um, going to cross those boundaries. Okay, what is this offer here with divine feminine with the energy? <laughs> she's running away from codependency and anything that does not matter. This divine feminine is completely enlightened, completely enlightened. Okay, let's see where this regret is. Let's see, what is this Three of Cups first in reverse? The Three of Cups in reverse is unconditional love, giving, receiving, affection, falling. I feel this is masculine energy. He's had an awakening. This masculine is now like, hey, I've ended the celebratory stuff. Who's in regret here, spirit? Who's in regret here? Who's in this Five of Cups energy? Uh, I regret. <laughs> I regret for past actions for you know, um, decisions, stringing along, one night stands, going to have a good old time. I regret the past. It wasn't worth it. Grass wasn't greener on the other side. What is this apology? This page, this page, I want to come forward and offer love. Uh, we have mirroring each other, self image wounds. So these masculine and feminine energies knew that where they were in their connection before may have been a mirroring effect of old wounds and wanting to apologize for that. Um, Look at this. And I feel someone was swayed away by seduction. Rising out of that. Somebody wants to apologize for being swayed away by, you know, the attraction and the dating and the hooking up and the third party interference and ending this third party and looking at the past and like, you know, all these different options and one night stands because now this masculine is realizing I'm in love with the feminine. Oh, my dear God. And this feminine's like, I don't know, I'm looking to date. I don't know. I don't know if I want that. I mean, you may. You, some of you may not. But, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's clarify. Let's clarify. This feminine's turned into the runner. How the paths have changed. Let's take a look. I'm using the Lynn Stride Mini Tarot to clarify. <laughs> they're so cute, but they're a little bit hard to shuffle. Here. All right, let's take a look here, guys. We're going to take some overall energies on the bottom. So, yeah, I feel like this Maxima has taken some action. They know who they're in love with. Okay, they know that they've had an awakening. They can feel the Divine Feminine definitely moving on. Um, yeah, before we do that, I actually want to pull another card. I'm looking here about this divine masculine ending this relationship i don't even and look what's on the bottom the two of cups as i'm saying that i want to clarify this okay so like look at that two of cups <laughs> i want to pull another divine masculine with ending a relationship what is that about whoops on 
seriously, sorry guys, under the couch. Oh yeah, look, self-worth, healing, shadow work, self-indulgence, okay? He ended something because it was, he has to work on self-love. Ended a, a relationship, stabbed whoever in the back, it created heart pain, break heartache we also have here look at this two of cups look at this two of cups knowing what this connection is coming out of complacency okay waking up coming out of out of regret we have queen of swords very dramatic queen of swords coming out of complacency because of karmic energies were completely dramatic <sighs> clarify this queen of swords here sorry guys i usually use queen of swords and queen of wands as my karmic energies so yeah, look at this. Eight of Swords in reverse coming out of entrapment and a lot of conflict with this karmic energies, okay? It was very dramatic. So whoever was in a karmic situation, you could have been. Feminine energies could have been as well. But this is um, definitely ending something for this Two of Cups, okay? Uh, karm, uh, situation has ended. Two of Cups having strength for this Two of Cups here. What is going on with masculine energy toward the divine feminine and this missed opportunity and coming out of a hangman state. Okay. Queen of Cups sideways. Okay. Knowing that that's their divine feminine. They're upset. Look at the emperor in reverse. Not taking control of the situation yet though. All right. King of Cups. Knowing. Feeling. Look at this. We have a pair. Knowing that that's their counterpart. Look at this. Wanting a reunion. Wanting friendship. Ending friendship over here. Knowing their unconditional love. Okay. For divine feminine but also here knowing that they want a reunion with divine feminine as well okay so they're completely aware now let's take a look at divine feminine here she's like i don't know i'm willing to date other people i'm like not dealing nine of swords she's like i got, still got some pain i'm in still that pain painful place i'm not able to sleep at night so she's closing off the past so this divine feminine is really putting her foot down saying closing off past energies looking towards her future focusing on self knowing that she may want to date revealing yeah where she's getting to know her true self here putting an end to you know any type of burdens things that don't um things that failed in the past she's just not and and this not today is very powerful it's like bitch please like put your hand up i ain't dealing i ain't dealing if it doesn't match i'm not dealing and i understand that completely <laughs> it's like i'm not dealing I don't care. I don't care if it's, if it's old vibration. I'm not dealing with it. She's gaining a lot of balance here. Clarify temperance here for divine feminine. She's having patience in her life. She's working on her life. She's looking for new love. She's um, getting off the old path. Okay. She's returning to self. Five of pentacles in reverse. She's coming home to herself. Beautiful. Page of swords. She's blocking anything out that takes away from her temperance. That takes away from her balance. It takes away from her peace. Wow, this divine feminine is really getting it together and how is this affecting divine masculine how is this affecting divine masculine well king of swords is getting him damn honest all right he's feeling it he's seeing the clarity okay ace of swords look at that ace of swords seeing the clarity that did come out sideways like this so there might still be some whoops confusion but he's gaining a lot of clarity here the tower there's still a delay see what is this delay? He's still delayed. Why is he still delayed with the uh, Queen of Pentacles? Why is there still a delay? <sighs> He's closed off still to something. He doesn't know how to. He's slowly moving towards. He's trying to figure out what kind of what to offer. Yeah, let's clarify. What is this offer here for Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine? Because this Divine Masculine completely knows. Look at this. Four of Wands. Union. How are uh, five of wands in reverse wanting to stop fighting about this union and this marriage? So uh, he's still trying to figure out how to come forward because he completely feels his energy from divine feminine not having it. Okay, <laughs> like, so he's a little like, mm, I don't know. All right, let's take a look here, guys. This is why feminine energy is like running away from anything codependent. Now, I ain't dealing with that. I ain't dealing with codependency. All right, let's see. What is this is made for love's deck, uh, the wounded warriors. It's an emotion. It's got emotions and things like that on it. I love it. Let's take a look and see the mutual energy between. This is the block here, guys, to work 
for the inner union, okay? So this is Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energies. What is going on for Full Moon in Cancer? Yeah, I feel like uh, this, you guys are really ahead of the game here. I feel like, you know, the old energies are clearing out. I feel Divine Feminine is really rising up and it's really pulling the masculine into ending um, old patterns as well. Okay, I'm really seeing that. So keep going. Let's take a look here. What is going on with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energies for Group 3 for Full Moon and Cancer? That came up for Group 1 as well, the Sloth. Fear, you guys got three cards. Guilt, look at this. This is what's holding things up. Sloth, slow movement. Okay, things not happening fast enough. Fears, okay, and guilt. So... Yeah, and that's for both. There may be fears and guilt for both. Maybe how Divine Feminine may have handled this situation. Maybe this might be a little too abrupt. You know, maybe open the heart a little bit. I mean, only you know, right? But there's a lot of fear and guilt here and things not moving fast enough. It could be something that that's also blocking the connection. And this could also be for masculine energies, you know, not having fear and guilt about how they've treated the feminine slowly moving because we had the Knight of Pentacles wanting to come forward and offer something, but not sure how, right? Because there's a delay. So there's definitely some blocks that are happening here. The fear is um, also maybe with Divine Feminine. I don't want to get hurt again. There's still guilt about what's happened in the past. So there's still some more forgiving and some releasing to work on those blocks. Okay, you guys, let's take a look here for pile number three. This is the Divine Counterparts and Separation by Made for Love. All right, what is going on for pile number three in regards to the twins for the full moon in Cancer? We're going to take the bottom and the top energies as well. All right, what is going on here for pile number three, full moon in Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. Look at this abundance, ready to defend this connection. All right. So both parties are really ready to stand up for this. If it does come into fruition here, different perspectives. So you both have different perspectives about something. Okay. And so it has to be opened here, getting over the fear here and the guilt. Okay. We also have no, let's see what that is about. So it may not be ready right now. Divine Feminine is also very clearly saying no. Like I'm, she's still clearing and healing stuff. We have abundance. We have, I wish I could be with you. All right. So both twins are feeling this with each other. We have ready to defend the soul connection. Two bodies in one soul. Twin flame connection. All right. So both of you are willing to defend this. So I feel the masculine is just coming into this now. Like realizing what the hell did I do? This is the most sacred gift ever. There's different perspectives about what, how it went down, what went down, and why the running away has happened, okay? So there has to be some communication, I feel. And I feel that may be coming as well. We have no right now, but there's still hope. So even though I feel Divine Feminine is really saying no to this, it's really pushing this Divine Masculine um, into a different place, Um of trying to close things out. But I feel this needs to open up a little bit more. Divine Feminines, I feel like when we still say no and we cut things off, and I know I'm I'm the bearer of cutting people off. It doesn't fit me. I'm like, bye, see ya. I have no compassion. I'm a bit of a bitch that way. I admit it. I really am. I'm like, no, you don't align with me, see ya. Blocked, bye. <laughs> I'm like, that's how I am. It's like, we have to, as warrior women, do have to be realized that we have to let that go open up a little bit more to this hope. And I know hope can be in a very empty vibration, but it's to just hold, not even hold the space, create the space and move on and be like, yeah, there's always a space there. I love this person, but it's over. I need to move on and how to balance it. And that's not an easy place to come into divine feminine. Okay. I understand that completely. Let's get some healing messages for you. Okay. So remember we've got sloth. These are the blocks that need to be worked on. Okay. The sloth the uh fear okay and the guilt of anything that's happened here okay let's get some twin tarot let's get some messages here for pile number three full moon and cancer and that will be your greeting so let's take a look what is going on with full moon and cancer for pile three please 
with their twin flame or with their inner union, yin and yang balance. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's see what pops up. What is going on here for pile three? Oh, you guys got a lot. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we got to take them. We have justice in reverse. We have the temperance. We have the emperor upright. Wow. This is masculine. Look at that. Whoa, 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 pal. This is why I felt you guys are coming into a place that could be possibly for union. It's energies that are lining up. We have divine feminine in reverse. See, she's even saying no. Okay. So I feel this has to be a little bit softened to the new beginnings. Okay. Divine feminine. I feel there's like, it's like this. It's the same card as this one. Look at this. No, <laughs> not today. I'm not dealing with your bull anymore. I'm done. Spirit's like, can we soften that a little bit? Let's soften it a little bit. Okay, so that maybe that's part of fear and guilt and the, all of this too, right? So we've got to open that up a little bit, Divine Feminine, but it's here holding the strength and taming that ego. All right, some healing messages for both. We've got to tame the ego. We've got to be able to hold that lion in our lap, okay? Instead of like pushing away the bunny, you know? And here we have masculine standing in their power. This masculine is, is more ready, I'm feeling, and wanting to come forward here to bring balance and stability. This is alchemizing. This is also alchemizing of marriage. We have a swan, which is also twin flames. I feel this is the masculine. This masculine is ready. So, so whatever injustice has been done to balance these scales, I feel this masculine wants this. So... It's a divine feminine because you are the center of the read here, divine feminine. About, let's look at it, divine feminine, right? The hanged man, where you're going, okay? Um, and how to move forward and to and to really balance this out here for both, okay? Feminine's got to be a little bit more open and receptive to this. I feel masculines are coming, all right? All right, Pile 3, that is your reading. Please like and comment down below. Don't forget to take a look at my services if you resonate with this. Maybe you'd like to work with me. And don't forget to like. It helps my channel to grow. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care of yourself. It is a difficult moon tonight. And to make sure that you are walking with kindness. So much love. Bye.